Thank you. So today we're going to be going over stem and leaf plots on page 608, exercise 9H. Uh, I've got, I've collected data from the start of class just seeing how many pairs of shoes that every person owns. Some people own three, which is a very low number, and 17, which is an extremely high number, and you should probably stop spending money on shoes. So it's got a, quite a range of data, and it's a little bit difficult for us to find, you know, find meaning from this data. So what I'm going to do, as per usual, as we do with the other bits of data as well, I'm going to, one, sort the data. So I want you guys, in your books as well, I want you to write this, these numbers here, I want you to write it in order. Okay, so it's always, we always look from smallest to largest. So I've got three, and you can do it this way as well, it's up to you. Uh, three, four, so I'm going to cut out three, four. I've got another two fours, I'm going to cut those out. I've got two fives from what I can see, so cut those out. I've got two sixes. I've got two sevens. I've got an two eights. I've got a ten. I've got two thirteens. I've got a fourteen, sixteen, and seventeen. I like crossing out the numbers just so that it makes it very clear I haven't missed any numbers just in case. And you might want to double check you've got the same amount of numbers by counting up the amount of numbers you had before, the amount of numbers you had afterwards. All right, have you guys done stem and leaf plots before? Yeah. They're pretty straightforward, aren't they? So we're looking at the idea of is it easier for us to write numbers out because right now there's a lot of digits that can be can get a little bit confusing instead what we can use is a ordered stem and leaf plot so that we can have this uh this diagram in a sense to show us this data a lot easier okay so we understand with stem and leaf plot we always look at well what numbers come first right what's the first digit in sorry three the three would be the first number so what we can do is we can say well i've got this data here Let's do that a little bit better. There we go. And I'm going to start by writing 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Intuitively, the one on the left is my stem because it's a little bit thinner. And the one on the right is my leaf. Okay. So I'm going to just write the numbers in. So I've got 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8. Do I continue writing this line? No. No, why not? James. Perfect. That represents a single digit. So let's continue by writing in the first, uh, in the second digit. So we've got. Do I write ten here? No, you write one. Do I write one? Comma. Zero. Zero. Thank you. And I'll go through that in a second. Thank you very much. Zero, three, three, four, six, and seven. Is there anything else? No. No. Thank you very much. Very clearly, is this symmetrical data? Is, is all the data in kind of in the middle of the graph? Yeah. Not really. It's mostly skewed towards single digits, right? Most people have, and you would say in the classroom, most people have single digit pairs of shoes, yeah. right? And most people in the school would probably have single digit pairs of shoes. If I continue drawing, uh, going around the entire school because I have nothing to do with my life and ask people how many pairs of shoes they have, I might get the occasional Darwin and get like 17 pairs of shoes, but mostly people are going to say somewhere between four and like nine, right? That's most people. Three is not normal. So we can say that this data is skewed, but this is a stem and leaf because you can see from here, most of the data is between, let's say, zero and eight. Now, we also have to write something called a key. What is a key for? Uh, to open your door. Yeah, I'm opening your door. Or what else? Oh, to like, like, to like what it means. Yeah, label what it means. If, if, have you guys ever read a map? I don't know if, yeah, yeah, we have a key which helps you understand that the toilet is a toilet and not just a square block on the map. So what I'm going to do is I just have to do, let's say, I pick an example, let's say three, I write zero, three, like that, zero, line three, and the line's this part over here, and then I say represents, or you can say equals, that's up to you, represents. Three what? Three what? What does the three tell me? Three shoes. Three, three shoes? I mean, uh, three three shoes. Shoes. Where did you lose the other one? Three pairs of shoes, thank you. Three shoes. That's the second. And that's the key. Okay. Why do we use why do we write the key? What's the whole point of running the key? So when 
Perfect. But if I was just just have the, the stem and leaf pot on the left without having the thing on the right, the key on the right, then how do I know? It could be zero. Okay, it sounds really dumb because we know the context. But how do I not? Know, how do I know it's not zero point three pairs of shoes, right? It could be zero point zero three pairs of shoes, right? So the idea is that a key helps me understand. We'll make sure that we know. We know what the stem and leaf plot represents. Any questions before I continue? No. Pretty straightforward? Yeah. Thank you for speaking on behalf of the class. So this next part's quite straightforward. I just want to give you an example. So I've got this one straight from page 609 of your textbook. And I've got winning scores and losing scores. I don't know much about sport personally, but let's say that we've got the stem and leaf plot, okay? So I can have numbers in the middle. And I'm just going to write some bunch of random numbers. Oops. Yes. In a second, yes? Okay. So from this data, I've got, I've got what I call a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot. Okay? It's a little bit different on this side because, well, in this one over here, I've only got one leaf and one stem. In this one, I've got one stem and two leaves, okay? Pretty straightforward. So from here, we know how to read, let's say losing scores, we know how to read this. So for example, I got 74, or I've got 75 over here, or 77, or if I go over here, I might have 105. That's pretty straightforward. With this back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot, we just read it this way instead of this way. Okay, so for example, what is this number there? It's not 17, it's 71. And we always go from the stem, so that's 85, thank you. What about this one? Um, 10,000 and... No, we just picked this number oh, over here. No. So we just picked, the, we go from the stem. 100. Yep, 10, and then we have an extra zero, so that's 100. What about this one? 109. 109, thank you very much. This back to back tells me Back to back tells me we can look at it from the stem and go towards the leaves, okay? So if my data looks like this, this is what we call skewed data. That's, that's skewed, that's not. There we are. Skewed data, right? It's skewed because not all the data is towards the middle. But this one over here, I'd say it's around the middle. So this is what we call symmetrical. And that's all you need to know for this exercise. So this is stuff that you guys already know. If you don't know it, it's based off stuff you understand. So hopefully we can go through this exercise without too much trouble. Do I have any questions? No.